Cool, today we're going to do some more parser combinations in PureScript. As always, if you know some Haskell, it's going to be enough for you to follow along. So in the last video, we built some basics of our parser combinator library. Thing is, sometimes we want to try multiple things before we fail. So for example, we would like to try to parse something and if that fails, we want to try something else as shown here in the example. Before getting into functional programming, I didn't realize how cool math was. There is a ton of concepts that are modeled in math and in type classes in Haskell and PureScript that solve a lot of real world problems. Now in PureScript type classes are more granular than Haskell. So alt is part of the alternative type class we find in Haskell. In any case, alt represents the idea of a choice between alternatives, which is exactly what we used in the previous slide with that uh, less than pipe, more than operator, which allows us to compose parsers in a way that if the first one fails, the second one is tried, and so on and so forth. The, the definition of the type class is not shown here, but you can check in the description of the video if you want to dig, dig, to dig deeper. And it turns out that the other part of the alternative Haskell type class, which is in PureScript called plus, represents the idea of failure. So we don't really need to have the fail parser as shown in the previous video. We can just implement the plus type class for our parser and then just use empty. And here's an example of both alt and plus. So here we say, try to parse with empty, which as we know, always fails. Alternatively, try to parse any character. And this of course would parse the first character S as an intermediate result and return the remaining string. We can do the opposite and here the code first tries any char, which succeeds and returns the same result as before. But we can also say try to parse capital Z and if it fails, parse or try to parse the character S. But what if we wanted to use a parser multiple times? So for example, here we have a spaces parser that is capable of parsing any amount of spaces, including zero. Sure, we could do a recursive call as shown here, but for sure math, cool as it is, must have a way of representing this in a better way. Well, in PureScript, there's a function that does exactly that. So as long as we have a context F that is an alternative, and also we have a lazy implementation for F of list of A, then we can use this function. In our concrete case, many would look something like this. So we need an instance of lazy parser list of A and alternative parser. Now a type to be alternative, it needs to be applicative and plus, which we already have. So we just declare the alternative parser and that's all we need. For lazy, we need to implement the type class. The details are not shown here, but again, you can check in the video description if you want to dig deeper. And with that in place, we can create a parser called spaces, which uses char space as a parser many times. And this is the exact same function as the one we defined before with the recursive call. And it turns out in PureScript, there's a function called sum that works as we have seen before with many, but it needs to parse at least once to succeed. So we can write a spaces one function that succeeds as long as it can parse at least one space as shown in the example below.
And to wrap up, let's try to define an int parser that is capable of parsing either a positive integer or a negative integer. Here it is. So int tries to parse a negative integer first. If it fails, it tries to parse a positive integer. So not, which is parsing the positive integer, works as follows. It first tries to parse some digits, which means it's a list of characters where each element is a digit and it must have at least one element in the list. Then we transform the list of those characters into a single number. And depending on the result of that, we either succeed or we fail. With neg, we just parse as first minus, and then we try to parse with not, and we fmap to negate the number inside because we just found the minus before that. Wow, I'm always surprised how math used this way makes things super declarative and super composable. This is it for today. As always, thanks for all of the support. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the subs, thanks for the comments, and thanks for reaching out to me in any way you do. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.